Hey you guys, it's April with Happy Healing Vegan. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a quick video for all of my vegan animal activists out there. I wanted to share a quick experience with you and then at the end of the video, I wanna go over some strategies that I think will really help us in our activism. And I would love to hear from you to hear what works when you are fighting for our animals. So you guys, I had a conversation over the weekend that did not go as well as planned. And I won't get into the conversation, but it left me in a really bad place yesterday. And I woke up completely discouraged um, and really horrified over everything that is going on in the meat and dairy industries and everything that is going on to our poor animals. And I honestly felt like I just wanted to jump in bed, crawl underneath my covers and stay there because I don't know what the point is sometimes. I feel like this fight is so much bigger than me and I just wonder what I'm doing to make a difference and why I am doing this. And yesterday, it just left me almost numb. Um, I don't know if you guys ever feel like this, but then I started feeling guilty for feeling sad and for feeling angry and discouraged. And then I realized that it is absolutely okay to feel this way. It is okay to be angry because we have been lied to our entire lives. We've been lied to that we need calcium for milk for our bones. We've been lied to about the protein that we need. And we've been lied to about what is happening to our animals in this industry. They're not living happy lives and pastures and having a happy death before we eat them. And I'm pissed off, honestly, and I know that it's okay and I just need to allow myself to feel this way. I'm also mad that it's literally everywhere and once you learn the truth, there's no going back. And I know that this isn't healthy, but I think about it all the time. I will drive by a jack-in-the-box and I'm looking at people in line and thinking about the dairy cows that were tortured and had their babies taken away from them and were slaughtered so that we could have milkshake or eat a burger. And it's horrendous. And I get pissed off at the people in line who are eating the food and contributing because the more we contribute, the more they're gonna continue to do this. And it's just gonna go on and on and on. And then I realized something else. I realized that while it's okay for me to be angry and have days where I want to give up, that I cannot be mad at the people that are buying the food. I cannot be mad at my family and my friends because they too have been lied to for their entire lives and it is not their fault. So you guys, I wanted to just share that experience with you. and remind you that it's really, really important to educate the people around us. Instead of getting angry, go to dinner with them and educate them about the industry and what they're eating and what it's doing to their health. And if you can, do it in a very, very nice, non-judgmental way. Um, I had a hard time saying that because I find myself judging and I absolutely do not mean to. So non-judgmental. I'll see you guys. I think it's really important that you find something that works for every single person. So unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there who do not care about the animal suffering and the slaughtering. However, they may care about climate change or they may care about their health. They should care about their health. Maybe they care more about their vanity and telling them that eliminating dairy will keep their skin young and clear up the acne. Maybe that will help. So I think it's really, really important to find something that works for every single person and for their passion and for what's important to them. Also, you guys, we just have to remember that if we do not stand up for animals, who is going to do it? 
they absolutely need us. So even if we have a bad day, we have to keep going. And you guys, I just want to let you know to all of my activists out there, I am so, so grateful for you because you guys keep me inspired. You're absolutely my light. And when I'm having a bad day, I look to you. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much. That was just a quick one today. Like I said, I would love to hear from you, hear what's working with your activism and how you're talking to people. And you guys, I will see you next week with a brand new video. As always, please, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, share, and don't forget to subscribe because it really helps support my channel. All right. Bye.